Lewis Hamilton has been warned that Max Verstappen is still not at the peak of his powers after the Red Bull driver dramatically beat him to the F1 World Championship in Abu Dhabi. The Dutchman overtook his British rival on the final lap at the Yas Marina to win his maiden F1 crown, and deny Hamilton a record-breaking eighth title in the process. However, the race finale was clouded by controversy after race director Michael Marzi altered his original instructions over the deployment of a safety car late in the race, which inadvertently gifted Verstappen victory. Two subsequent protests from Mercedes were dismissed by an FIA panel, with the Silver Arrows immediately serving notice of their intent to appeal. They have until Thursday to activate their option, but it's a scenario which now looks unlikely with Toto Wolff having contacted Verstappen to congratulate him on his title win. Despite the dubious drama, and a season where relations have been tempestuous between Verstappen and Hamilton, the mutual respect between the two drivers after the checkered flag was obvious. Hamilton won widespread praise for the dignified manner with which he handled the result, embracing his rival before further congratulating him in his post-race interview. Hamilton's father, Anthony, was also filmed approaching the 24-year-old and offering him a handshake and some warm words. However, Helmut Marko, current advisor to Red Bull and who signed Verstappen to the company's F1 program in 2014, has now tipped the Dutch protégé to plague Hamilton on the track for years to come. He is a driver who I'm sure is not at the end of his abilities, the XF1 driver told BBC Radio 5 Live. We saw his qualifying performance at the last two races, in Jeddah and Abu Dhabi. He did qualifying laps that were so much more than the car could deliver. And that's why we believe we haven't seen the climax of Max Verstappen. The more he wins, the more relaxed he gets. The Austrian's reference to Jeddah relates to Verstappen's scintillating final lap in Q3, where he seemed certain to take pole position before spinning off the track on the final corner. At Yas Marina, despite Hamilton dominating in practice, he again produced a superb late lap to ensure he started Sunday's race in first place. Red Bull celebrated the victory with a yacht party on the marina that ran long into Monday morning, but there was no sign of fatigue for Verstappen as he promptly returned to work. Sporting goal trainers, he was back at the circuit for postseason testing ahead of the 2022 campaign, when mass changes over technical regulations in F1 will come into play. There is now likely to be even more intense scrutiny on the newly crowned champion, but Marco argued he has the temperament to block out background noise. He goes his own way. He doesn't look left and right. He is not worried by all this media stuff and so on. And it's nice to see such a young guy to be so focused on doing an amazing job, he added. Fortunately now it's done with the first world championship. I'm sure it's not the last and we will work hard to go for the next one.